Hello, Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, I had to comment on this, um, this latest rumor from uh, Midnight's Edge. Now, there's two rumors. Um, the first rumor was that they were basically going to reboot Star Trek for the 60th anniversary. They were going to wait out Alex Kurtzman's contract, let the shows that were in production end, not start any new shows, and then for the 60th anniversary, reboot Star Trek for the 60th anniversary, and basically be like, hey, we've got a whole new Star Trek, you know. New and, new and improved. Now, I would have really liked that, because um, as long as they were shows that tried to be like Star Trek and resembled Star Trek and gave us the optimistic utopian universe that Gene created, not this sort of dark, cynical version of today that they feel like the general audience will relate to, um, that would have been great. But apparently what's happened... Now, I guess I partially take blame for this, but um, basically there's a lot of support for Star Trek Picard Season 3, and a lot of fans like myself did not support season one or two, didn't like it. But we are supporting season three. Like, I've signed up to Paramount Plus and I put out positive videos about it and positive tweets. And apparently, what's happened is allegedly, what's happened is that um, Paramount has sort of shelved the rebooting Star Trek because that's a lot of work and they've put a lot of money into establishing the Kelvin verse for the films and the Disco verse for TV, separate from the original Star Trek universe, which I don't know why they don't just go back to that. But um, I know why they didn't before, but I don't know why they don't do it now. That um, the, all the all the um, all the different players are in the same house now, so in theory they should be able to sort out the, the contractual issues um, and go back to actual Star Trek. But um, what they decided to do apparently is they're going to make Star Trek Legacy, which is the proposed follow-up to Star Trek Picard. Um, they were saying they, they they would have called this season Star Trek Legacy if they could have, but any continuation of the show with the new characters um, post Picard on the Titan or anything like that would be called Star Trek Legacy and that's the series that's being proposed and the, I, the problem with that is though in order to do that because it's in the Dis Discovery verse um, that they established in Picard season 1 and 2 and Discovery um, they have to keep working with Kurtzman and the rumour is they have extended his contract for another 7 years from today 2023 through to 2030 um, in order to do this legacy show and other shows with Talia Metalis because he created them in that universe. So in order to keep working with him on these shows and they use these characters, they have to stay in bed with Kurtzman and Secret Hideout, basically. Now, I don't hate Kurtzman on that level. Um, I see him as a businessman, as a grifter who just saw an IP he could exploit. I don't think he has any ill intent. He doesn't want to hurt the fans. He doesn't want to ruin Star Trek. It's not some twisted vendetta which people need because they need someone to hate. They need something to fight about. They need an enemy. They seem to can't live their life without someone to sort of hate and focus on and have be, you know, a nemesis. And they've made Kurtzman into that.